Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Whiteley and welcome into Golf Central on YouTube. The world breathes a sigh of relief following yesterday's horrifying car crash and the news that Tiger Woods is awake, responsive and recovering at Harbour UCLA Medical Center. Now the long road to recovery begins for Tiger and PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan talked with Steve Sands. Jay, what were your initial thoughts when you heard and saw the news yesterday? Well, my initial thoughts were, first and foremost, I hope Tiger's going to be okay and prayed that Tiger was going to be okay. Um, and there was a long period of time where, you know, he was in surgery, and um, that's really all that was on my mind and occupying everybody's mind out here. Um, he means so much to everybody out here. I love him. We love him. Um, and there was, you just want to make sure that Tiger, the person, is going to be okay. And seeing those images and understanding the spot he was in, that's, you know, that's all you could do at that point in time. It was a helpless feeling. Golf seems inconsequential right now. Golf is inconsequential Compared right to what he's dealing with. We, we, so when you deal with it from a golf standpoint, how do you try to let people know outside of our space that, hey, the golf will come at some point. Right now, it's about his life and his recovery. Well, you just said it. I mean, Tiger's a human being. Tiger's um, had some really difficult injuries. The most important thing is, you know, is his well-being. It's it's him. It's Tiger recovering. It's it's supporting Tiger's family. The golf. When Tiger wants to talk about the golf, we'll talk about the golf. All the energy right now is going to be poured into to supporting him. Uh, in the days and months ahead. You've gotten emotional talking about this. Uh, it is an emotional topic. Uh, why is it personal to you? The stars of the game are the faces of the sport, yeah. but you're the commissioner of the PGA Tour, and this is a personal thing to you. Why? Well, uh, you know, like like your first question, I've, I, I think I know the man, and, and I've and I love him. We love him. And, uh, you know, it's anytime someone that you care deeply about um, is hurt, it hurts. And it's not me. It's, it's everybody out here. Like, a part of my emotion is knowing how much he means to everybody, all the players out here. Um, and that's why I'm here. I want to talk to them. And, and this, is, this, is a, this is a tough moment. It's not an easy week to play golf when the person that you – idolize the person that's your inspiration the person that has gotten you into this game the person that has created a lot of opportunity for you is hurt um, and so you know I, I just I just think that that you know when you come out here in 1996-97 you've had that impact you know moments like this hit at your heart and hit at your soul and I think that again it's it's incumbent upon all of us to uh, return that in a form of love and support, and that's what we're going to do. Meanwhile, Annika Sorenstam has not played an official round on the LPGA Tour in 13 years. But the 10-time major winner and one of the sport's most decorated athletes returns to course, playing in her backyard at Lake Nona. Annika talked to Amy Rogers about Tiger and her comeback. I was uh, literally just here about... 25 yards from this point um, I was about to go to the first tee to a practice round and just grab my phone quickly to kind of just check in and and something popped up and I was like what um, I just felt I mean I got sick to my stomach I felt you know it was just I mean it was scary I really didn't know what to expect and um, that was probably the first you know talking point of the first hole uh, and we were just you know just hoping that things would be okay that he will be all right and uh, and it wasn't as bad as kind of the first news uh, kind of indicated. So, yeah, so when I was finished after nine holes, I went home, turned on the TV, and, and we're watching the news, and it was all over the news. And um, I got the feeling that he would be okay, but just didn't really know. Still don't know what, how he is, but I uh, heard he was in surgery. So thinking the very best of him and his family. Uh, I hope he will have a, a full recovery and, and a good one. I mean, it's just it's scary. It really is. And... Uh, how precious life can be and, you know, sound like he should be happy he's alive and I think we all are. 
Yeah, absolutely. You're here this week competing for the first time since 2008. How does it feel to be back out here competing on the LPGA Tour all these years later? <laughs> well, it feels, uh, it feels a little strange, I must say. I mean, a lot of things have happened in 13 years, and, you know, I'm obviously in a different place in my life, and uh, different things are important uh, than it was then. But it's nice to see some, some old friends, you know, caddies and players that I used to play with. But a lot of it is new, you know, new rules, new protocols, and just new procedures and so forth. But, you know, just because it's here like Nona, I mean, it was a great opportunity to come out and play a little bit, you know, rest off the clubs and uh, kind of get ready for the summer for the U.S. Women's Seniors. So nice to be here. It's been overwhelming. It's been super positive. I've had a lot of practice rounds with players that have reached out to say, do you want to play? So um, I figure by the t time tomorrow I'm going to be exhausted. I've never played this much. So, uh, But it's just been great and nice to come back here. And, you know, I'm so proud of the club and uh, for hosting this event and for the LPGA to be here. So it's been cool. Also in Florida, the PGA Tour is getting ready for the WGC Workday Championship at the Concession. After the tournament was moved from Mexico, the Concession Golf Club in Bradenton is a new track for a lot of the players. It has a reputation of being tough and the players are trying to learn all about the ins and outs of the course. It's a good track. It's all right in front of you. I think you have the opportunity to challenge uh, some holes off the tee. You can play a little bit more aggressively, uh, a lot of water, very typical Florida course in that aspect, but um, it definitely seems like an amateur golfer's nightmare. It's, it's very difficult and grainy around the greens and a lot of elevated greens and you know there's a lot of holes that uh, we've had a hard time finding four pin placements because the greens are so severe. So um, if the greens were firm it would be um, challenging I think as an understatement, but uh, I think it's still going to be a good test and, and with considering, you know, how the course will evolve over the course of the week. The yeah, golf course is in perfect shape and, you know, so these golf courses, from the tee it looks really wide, but, uh, you know, you have to have command on the golf ball. I mean, you, the wind will blow, you'll get some of those cross winds and, you know, whether it's water edges or, or bunkers seems to tighten it up. So it, it's one of those that uh, you have to stay aggressive, but at the same time have to have full control of your golf ball. It's a demanding golf course all across. Um, it might not be the most demanding of the tee, but it's got some, you know, some quirky tee shots. You got to pick your spots, and then it can get windy. So, you know, of the tee seems like it'll be the easiest thing to do here, but it's not. Now the challenge is shots into the green. Those green contours are so undulated. Missing the green is a severe penalty. You know, it's it's not the easiest up and down. So uh, you got to have your iron game on and hit it on the right spot. Yeah, it's um, different than Mexico, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a great golf course. It's um, sort of typical Florida uh, layout. It it sort of reminds me a little bit of the Bears Club. I guess Jack had a hand in this with with Tony Jacklin. Um, sort of generous off the tees, but if you if you start missing fairways. Um, not much rough and you, you sort of get into trouble in the in the brush and the trees so um, but yeah it's it's good it's it's a big golf course um, undulating greens and I think that's sort of the defense of the you know they can put they can tuck some pins away here and put them in some difficult spots so um, yeah I'm excited you know it's it's a bit of an unknown no one's been here before but um, you know it's certainly a great venue and if you're wondering where to catch the action this week on golf, that WGC Workday Championship at Concession kicks off tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Also, the LPGA in action tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern on Peacock. Puerto Rico Open starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow and the Cola Guard Classic PGA Tour Champions on Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern.